You might think that you'd be more likely to listen to a loved one than a stranger, but in fact, the opposite is often true. Experts in couples therapy told me this is because people in long-term relationships tend to lose their curiosity for each other. Not necessarily in an unkind way, they just become convinced they know each other better than they actually do. They don't listen because they think they already know what the other person will say. It's called the closeness communication bias. Once you know someone well enough to feel close, there's an unconscious tendency to tune them out. The trouble is people are always changing. So over time, romantic partners come to feel they no longer know each other and parents discover their children are up to things they never imagined. The closeness communication bias is the culprit when longtime friends have a falling out because one feels the other has suddenly and unexpectedly changed. It's kind of like when you've traveled a certain route several times and no longer notice signposts or scenery. The sum of daily interactions and activities continually shape us so no one is the same as they were last month, last week, or even yesterday. Attitudes, opinions, beliefs, and feelings evolve. It doesn't matter how long you have known or how well you think you know people. If you stop listening, you will eventually lose your grasp of who they are and how to relate to them. Staying in touch and keeping up with someone is nothing more than listening to what's on that person's mind. The frequency with which you check in determines the intimacy and longevity of the relationship.